Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is actually going to be split up into two separate videos. Um, we are finally in the final stages of moving. Um, as you can notice, everything is kind of a mess back here. Uh, but this weekend, it, today's the 7th, um, this weekend is the last weekend that we have available to pack up everything uh, that Jordan has off. So everything is getting packed up. That means that all my makeup, all my skincare is being packed away. Um, I'm going to be splitting this video up in two. I'm going to be doing one video featuring my makeup and my makeup brushes that I'm bringing with me. Um, that, I, that I'm leaving out and bringing with me over the next two to three weeks and then the next the next video that you'll see is the actual skincare portion of this um, so that way you don't have to I don't know if you're interested in both you can watch both or not away from YouTube and everything else for a month or so until we finally get moved in and settled into the new place so I might not be back and doing videos on my steady routine like I normally do, which is Wednesdays and Saturdays, until sometime in August. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to start with makeup brushes that I am bringing along with me. All the products that I'm mentioning in today's video are going to be what's on my face today. Um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and jump into the makeup brushes and tools that I'm bringing with me. First thing is just a fan. This is just a cheap one from the dollar store. Um, I use it to fan my face after applying setting spray. The next two products are sponges. Um, I'm not going to be including like toiletries, things like perfume and all that kind of stuff because it's, you know, it's whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be bringing these two sponges. These are the Eco Tool sponges. They're a great deal. They're really nice shape. They actually blow it up quite big. I used them for the first time today and I was surprised at how big they got. Um, they're nice. They do soak up a little bit more product than my L'Oreal makeup sponges. And they're somewhere in between a beauty blender texture, the really soft and squishy texture, and a um, Real Techniques sponge, which is a little bit firmer um, of a texture. They're, they're somewhere in between. It works really well. It blends the product nicely. It applies powder really beautifully on the skin. I have no complaints. I do really like them and I think they're a pretty decent price. The next tool will be my eyelash curlers. Nothing fancy. Um, I bought them in the Sephora VIB sale. Um, of course, I have a beard and I pluck it. Um, so I'm bringing my Tweezer Men travel tweezers. I love these. They stay sharp for a really long time. I've had those probably for about three years now and they're still going strong. And I will show you the makeup, the, the bag that I keep all my tools in when I travel. It's the Star Trek bag. If I can find it, um, I will try to link it down below, but it has the insignias and everything. It's really, I really like it. I'm a Star Trek nerd, um, so I was pretty excited to get it. I think I got it from Think Geek, and I'm sure you can find it on Amazon. Let's do the eye brushes first. So in all honesty, I could probably pare down my eye brushes a little bit more if I wanted to, but they don't take up very much space, and I had a decent amount of space in this bag for brushes, so I figured why not. Um, the first two brushes I actually use on my face. Um, this one I use, this is the, these two are the, they're from Esum, and this is the T38, which is the bigger one, and the T37. The smaller one I use, um, the smaller one I use for right here in my nose contour. I contour my nose with this. I contour my little lip indent right here and underneath my lip. This is what I use this for, um, and I really, really like it. I want to be zoomed in a little bit. This might work a little bit better. Um, the next, the next, the other Esam brush is the bigger version of it. They're the same exact. They're the same exact shape. Um, this one I use for a multitude of things. Uh, I use it to highlight my chin, my nose, my cupid's bow. I use it to clean up underneath my brow, to clean up underneath my eyes. I just, it's a multi-use brush for me. It's really soft. These Esam brushes are really nice. The Esam brushes I really like. You can buy them from Use Beauty and they're synthetic. They're just, they're really nice soft brushes. Um, the next brush is from Makeup Geek and it's just this small defining crease brush. Um, I figured if I wanted to do a more dramatic look, this would come in handy for me. Um, so I packed it. I don't foresee me doing a more dramatic look, more so than what I have on today which I don't know if you guys can see it, um, but yeah, I, you, you never know. I, I might decide one day that I want it, but um, right now I don't foresee me wanting that, but you never know. I'm just being prepared for the next three weeks. 
Um, the rest of the brushes are all from Wayne Goss. Three are his older brush brushes, two are of his newer. Um, I would have brought the whole new set. Um, I actually have, I actually just bought um, a whole another set of his new eye set. Um, it just came in the mail like yesterday and I loved it so much. Um, but I did pack away the rest of them. Um, but I kept out the number 16 and the number 18, the new number 16 and the new number 18. This is just a fluffy crease brush. Has kind of a point to it, really good for hooded eyes. And then the other one has a pinch ferrule. It's really good. You can pack on color with it. Um, it doesn't do as good of a job as a brush that's meant to pack on color. Um, but it can get there, and then it's also really good for blending. Um, this brush, I can do a whole eye look with just this one brush. So I always pack one like that, and I just really like them. The next brush is the 06. It's a lot like the other one, where I can do a whole eye look with it. It's pinched at the ferrule. It's a little bit thinner. It gets into the crease really nicely, and it can pack on color pretty decently. The next one is a small pencil brush from Wayne Goss. Once again, this is the number 5 and it's just a nice soft pencil pencil brush um usually my issue with pencil brushes are they're they're really dense so they tend to be a little rough on the eyes but this one's blue squirrel um so it's really really soft you wouldn't want to use that with creams so you wouldn't want to use that to smudge your eyeliner you would just strictly want to apply powder with it um but this one is just another crease brush once again this is the number four and this is just a smaller um, pointier crease brush. Once again, love this brush. Love all of Wayne Goss's brushes. Most of my face brushes are Wayne Goss too, um, so I'm sorry. Uh, but they're just the brushes that I overall reach for and prefer, so that's why they're coming with me. Let's move on to face brushes. Um, I have I have six face brushes. Now, if I really wanted to thin it down, I don't need these six face brushes. They're not all needed. Um, just some of them I wanted to bring along to be honest because they're new. I just got them in with the other Wayne Goss brushes that I ordered and I wanted to use them and I wanted to play with them because they're they're beautiful. They're really really nice and I just really wanted to use them so I just decided to pack them. I didn't want to pack them away for, for a month and then me not get to use them right away so I just I packed them with me because I had room. Um, but this first one is my go-to powder brush. Um, a lot of times I will use this one and uh, by the way all of my big face brushes are stored in the brush guards. I don't have any really tiny brush guards. I need to order some. Beautylish sells some and I, I should just order some but I don't have any right now. Um, but I do have like the bigger ones for all my face brushes. These are important to keep your brushes um, from getting all wonky especially if you have really expensive brushes like I do. You, you want to take care of them when you're putting them in a bag and traveling with them and moving them around. You don't want them to get messed up um, but yeah. This is the Jumbo Powder Brush from IT Cosmetics, and it truly is jumbo. It is really, really big. I really like this brush. I use it almost every day. I use this intertwined with my Marc Jacobs bronzer brush, um, but I decided to bring this one because this one is slightly less heavy, um, so I just I didn't want to add that weight to the bag. Um, but yeah, I really like this brush. It's really soft. It's really nice. It's not necessary, but I do like a bigger powder brush that's a little bit less dense to buff all over the face. In the same regards, um, this is an extra brush. This is like an extra step that I do. Um, this is what I actually apply. So with this brush, this is what I apply my face. Like if I'm setting my face, I use this brush um, to apply face powder or a foundation, a powder foundation to set the face or my to wipe away um, any kind of baking that I've done underneath the eyes or anything, I use this one because it is synthetic. Now, um, on a different note, the rest of the brushes that I have are natural hair brushes and they're strictly for powder. Um, they're strictly for powder purposes. They shouldn't be used to set the face at all. Um, they shouldn't come in contact with creams or anything because of the type of hair that they are. Um, the rest of these I believe are either gray squirrel hair or blue squirrel hair. Um, they're kind of intermixed. Um, but this one is the Wayne Goss Holiday 2014 brush I think. And I, I really like this brush. I'm going to show you guys how I use this brush. Um, I really like this brush as a finishing brush. I dip it into a finishing powder to kind of help um, smooth over pores and everything one last time. And I use it and I simply just whack it all over my face like not hard it's really soft so it doesn't hurt but it just kind of helps blend the face 
better, blends in the blush, the highlight and everything. Um, and every time I do it, I just think of Bob Ross and how he takes his number two brush and whacks it against the easel and just says, um, beat it like the devil or whatever he says. It, it makes me laugh, but that's what I'm picturing that I'm doing every time like I'm sitting there like whacking my face with it. Um, but I really like this brush. It works really well with setting powders. It's flimsy, but it's not a bad type of flimsy, so I really, really like it. Two Wayne Goss brushes that I'm bringing with me are the number 00 brush, um, which is the white goat hair one, and then the airbrush, which is blue squirrel. This one I like for blush and highlight. This one is just an all-in-one. This can do face powder. This can do blush. This can do contour. This can do bronzer. This can do highlight if you're really careful with it. Um, I just really, really like this brush, um, so I'm bringing both of these with me for their dual purposes. Like I said, this one's highlight and blush. Um, this one could even be strategic. It can be really get in there and get your contour going too as well. Um, but yeah, I, I like these brushes. They're super soft yet again, which is important to me, and they don't move around your foundation, which is why I like these brushes so much. Um, because if I find that I have a really rough textured brush, I find that it moves around my foundation and it just doesn't look as airbrushed and smooth as I would like it. The next two brushes are new to me and they're the ones that I didn't want to pack away yet um, and I'm super excited to have them. I, I'm It's a new addiction now. Um, I've gone from Wayne Goss to these and I still love my Wayne Goss and they're just as soft and the quality is just as great um, but these are probably three times the price to be honest. Um, these are the Chiki Holdo. Um, this is the Z1 powder brush. I got these off of Beautylish, by the way, um, and this is the highlight brush. Um, this one, I use this kind of as a setting powder brush the same way. You can use it to set your face, um, kind of buff everything in after you've had it all set. Or the way that I personally have been enjoying using this is as strictly as a bronzer brush. So once I set my face, I'm ready to apply my bronzer. I go in and it just, it has that beautiful dome shape and it's just so soft that it works. It just works so beautifully for bronzer. I have been really, really enjoying it. Um, I would say that I would buy another one, but it's, it's kind of pricey to go out and buy another one right now. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been really, really liking that brush. They are beautifully well made. Um, but I would definitely say that if that is out of your price range, which I can completely understand, the Wayne Goss brushes are just as beautiful and just as well made, and they're about three times the and they're, they're about three times less. So yeah, definitely recommend the Wayne Goss ones. Um, the next one, like I said, is the Highlight Blush. Sorry if you can hear my air conditioner. It just kicked on, but it's hot. And I'm not, I don't wanna turn it off because it's just hot. Um, so you might hear that for a little bit, and I'm sorry. Um, but the next one is the Highlight, um, the highlight brush and I don't use this you can use it to highlight and I can imagine it would be beautiful because it's really it's pinpointed to like a really nice placement for your highlight even on your nose and everything um, but what I've been loving to use this for is contour because it really just fits right there nicely into the cheekbones and I've just been really really enjoying it um, and it's super super soft yet again doesn't move around my makeup which I love all right so that was everything that's in my brush kit. Let's move on to what's in my makeup bag. Um, this is a Tarte makeup bag. You can see like the little Tarte thing right there. Um, I got this in like a Mother Day special thing like two or three years ago. So I've had it for quite a while. I really, really like it. Um, it holds a ton of makeup as you can see. It is jam packed, um, but yeah. So let's go ahead and get into it. And let me share with you what I got, or what I'm gonna be keeping out. And it has like the purple inside, and that's what it looks like. All right, so this just came in today, and I'm not gonna get in too much detail, but this is the Sephora Pro um, pigment palette that just came out, the warm one. That's what it looks like on the back. I just ordered it, so I can't put it away. So this will be coming with me on the, tr this will be coming with me um, throughout the move because I just can't pack it away right now. Um, but this is what it looks like. Um, but this is what it looks like um, when you open it. It has the plastic sheet with all the names. And it looks a lot like every other warm palette that you are getting out right now. They have three palettes out. They have an editorial bright with all the bright colors, a warm, which is this one, and a cool tone one. So they have one for every palette. So far, I've swatched every color. 
the, I haven't used this yet on the eyes, but the colors feel very buttery and very pigmented. The metallics are beautiful. The only one that I do not like in this palette so far is this one over here. It's called brown sugar and it feels like brown sugar. It feels literally like they pressed brown sugar into the pan. It is like very crumbly and just, it's just patchy and I don't, I don't like this one. But other than that, all these other ones swatched beautifully and they are really, really nice. Um, and this will give me the shimmers because the other palette that I patched, you will see, it's an all matte palette and it's for everything, everything else on my face. So yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to getting these out of this for the next two weeks. Um, leading into that, the other palette that I'm bringing with me, um, and this is going to be my contour, this is going to be my bronzer. If I want to use an eyebrow powder, this will be it. Um, and this is the Tarte Clay Play palette. It has a nice big mirror that I used today to get ready. Um, and it smells slightly of vanilla. If you have a bunch of matte colors already, I can see you not necessarily needing this palette, but if you like the Tarte formula and you need a good neutrals, this is really, really nice. It has nice pigmentation. Um, the contour colors are slightly too pigmented for me, but they blend out pretty easily. I personally will be using this color and this color mixed to make my contour color, and that's what I like. Um, but that is the palette that I will be bringing for my contour. Um, some bronzer and my eyeshadows, which is what's on my face today, is that Tarte Clay Play palette. Kind of went out of order, so let's start going in order now. Um, the next thing is going to be my primer. It's just the Marc Jacobs Uncover Primer. This is my favorite primer. Um, this was almost empty, and I have my refill packed away, so I thought I would get this used up. This isn't the color that it normally is. I did squirt in to save space two or three pumps of the Becca Backlight Priming Filter because I always mix those two together. So that's what's in this jar. Um, I'll probably use it up. The Pep Start from Clinique. I use this every day. It's really great if you have dry under eyes. And the same goes for the Pure Hydrogel Lift. It's really cooling on the under eyes. If you have puffy eyes, it feels really nice. Um, for lip treatments for the next few weeks, I'm almost done with my By Terry Travel Size Balm de Rose. I love this to put on um, before I start applying my makeup and while my makeup is being applied. It really fills in the lips, plumps them up, and makes them really moisturize. Um, this one's almost gone. I do have a full size, but like I said, it's packed away. Um, for my nighttime lip treatment, because I always put a lip balm on at night, I have my Bite Agave lip chapstick, basically. I really like this. It's really thick and I use it every night. Um, I, don't, I don't ever go without it because I don't like the feeling of dry lips. Uh, concealers. So I did bring two concealers. One is really lightweight, and I do have other concealers that I really like. This one's probably my favorite, but I love the Maybelline Age Rewind, for instance. I love the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. They just came out in lighter shades. I bought the lightest shade. Um, I like the Makeup Atelier um, concealer. There's quite a few concealers that I really like, but I chose to bring the Becca Luminous because one, it's one of my favorites, and two, this one's almost gone. So I can get it used up and throw it away and then use my backup. Um, and this is in the shade Porcelain. It's lightweight, it's hydrating, it can be built to medium coverage, so on those days that I just want a little bit of concealer on, it works. This also works for that purpose, but this is a fuller coverage one. This is the NARS Soft Matte Concealer, and this is in the shade Chantilly. I want this for when I have breakouts or if I just want to put a little bit of this on because this can be very full or this can be spread out and become a medium natural looking concealer. So I like this, it's multi-purpose for me. Foundation wise, I'm only bringing one foundation with me and it's very lightweight and it's an all-in-one for me. Um, this is a CC cream from Supergoop and this is the daily, this is the daily correct CC cream from Supergoop. I love this stuff. I've gone through tubes and tubes and tubes of this stuff. It is my holy grail. It's what I have on today. It has a light coverage um, that can, it can be built upon and you can almost get it to medium coverage, but not quite. Um, it's a step down from medium. Like it's not quite on the sheerest of the sheer side, but you can get it there. Um, it does a really good job. It only comes in three shades, but it's kind of um, one of those self-adjusting uh, CC creams and it's just really really nice and it has the Brock Spectrum SPF. I do wear sometimes Sometimes I will wear this underneath sometimes I'll wear this on its own It's just depending on how my skin's feeling if it's feeling a little bit more on the drier side I will use that primer if not 
This does a beautiful job. You'll notice that I'm not including a pore filling primer because with that CC cream, it glides over the pores, glides over wrinkles, and it fills them in beautifully. So you don't need the pore smoothing primers with that particular CC cream. Um, it does it all for you. Eyebrow products are my normal, which is the Maybelline Brow Precise and the Fiona Styles in Warm Brown. I really like both of those. For eyeliners, I'm bringing my Marc Jacobs um, Gel Crayons. They are super pigmented, they're long wearing, they're creamy, and they're beautiful. And I could have packed my ColourPop ones, which I like as well, but I'd rather just have my high-end ones uh, to be used than the $5 ones can be stored away and if they get dried out at that point I don't really care um, but yeah as far as face powder goes and setting the face I brought three different powders they're used for different things though to actually set the face or my under eyes I'm bringing my Urban Decay Velvetizer this is my new favorite setting powder I absolutely love it it melts into the skin beautifully if you have dry skin I'm telling you you need to try this to set your face with it is beautiful um, it's very finely milled. For um, more like finishing powders, I brought with me my favorite Wet n Wild Color Icon Reserve Your Cabana. This has sunscreen in it or SPF. Um, this is a chemical sunscreen, but it is makeup and it's not actually coming in contact with my skin because by that time there's multiple layers, so it doesn't bother me as much. I mean, it is only SPF 15. I really, really like this. I have rebought this numerous times, and it's one of my favorite drugstore products. It's very similar to Ethereal Glow from Hourglass, the lighting powders, which I also have, but I don't often travel with because, once again, it's more expensive. I'd rather break this, um, a $4 item, than my 50 something dollar face powder. So I always put this in my travel bag and it gives a beautiful glowy effect to the skin and I often mix it with something that is discontinued now and I'm looking for a replacement for um, but this is my favorite powdered foundation it's very very lightweight very sheer it's more like a setting powder than anything with um, very light sheer coverage and this is the Lorac oil free wet slash dry powder and and I love this stuff unfortunately it's discontinued so I'm not going to go on about it um, but I do really, really like it if you can find it at like an outlet or something. I would suggest trying it. For highlight, I am bringing a very, very subtle one because I don't feel like I need a really hardcore, harsh one. I like really subtle highlights and this is a travel size one as well. This is from Laura Geller and this is the Baked Highlighter in French Vanilla. This is just a beautiful, subtle, baked highlight. It does the job, gives you the nice glow. Um, that's what I have on my face today. Um, and plus I have the other glowy products. I have the Reserve Your Cabana from Wet n Wild. Plus the other two cheek products that I'm packing within my kit are glowy. So I don't feel like I need an intense highlighter even for nighttime. The um, blush, I'm only taking one blush with me. And the blush that I chose to take is the one that I love the most out of my whole collection um, as far as single pants go. And this is from Hourglass. And this is Ethereal Glow. Um, and this is just a soft, glowy baby pink. Um, it's beautiful if you have pale skin. I think this would even be nice on darker skin tones to give a beautiful flush to the cheeks. If you have pale skin, it gives the most natural, just soft flush to the face. It's beautiful, it is my favorite, um, and I use it on the daily. It is like my go-to blush when I don't know what to wear. Um, so I figured it would be perfect to pack. The next thing is a new item to me. I've used it probably for the last week. And I got it during the Platinum Perk Sale from Ulta for 20% off. And this is one of the new Becca bronzers. And this is in Bali Sands. This is the lightest shade. It's a golden beige color. And it is beautiful. It's creamy. It's buttery. It blends. It's pigmented. Um, and it's beautiful for fair skins. And they have like four other shades that would suit any skin tone or any color that you're looking for. They can be built up to be more pigmented or they can be sheared out. Um, so you can pretty much just pick the tone that you want and go with it. Um, so I've really, really been liking those. For lip products, granted, I probably have about four or five lipsticks in my purse as we speak. Um, and those will probably just stay there, so keep that in mind. And I don't know what colors they are. But these are the colors that I chose to put in my actual um, makeup bag. And for those, I got my Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat and Pillow Talk, which is what I have underneath today. It's almost done, which is why I chose to use it um, to get it used up. I just want it out of my, my stockpile and I can just buy a new one. Um, the other lip color that I chose was 
uh, Grunge. This is the Lippy Pencil Grunge from ColourPop. I love ColourPop lip liners. They're creamy, they're smooth, they last all day. Um, and I just really like the brownish red color. I'm also bringing the ColourPop Lippy Stick Lippy Stick in Grunge as well. Um, and this is their matte formula, which is more like a satin color, but it matches the Lippy Stick. And it's just really, really nice. And I really like this color. So I'm bringing that with me for when I feel a little bit more 90s or whatever I'm feeling. Um, the next lipstick that I'm bringing is the Smashbox um, Always On Liquid Lips, which are my favorite liquid lipsticks. This is in driver's seat. This is a sample I got in Sephora Play a while back, and I decided it would be perfect. So what I have on my lips today is actually really close to Bumble, which is like my favorite color from ColourPop. Um, it's just a really, really nice, warm terracotta shade, and I really, really like it. And the fact that it's in sample size just takes up less space. Um, the, an actual lipstick that I'm bringing is from the new Heat Collection from Urban Decay, and this is one of their cream shades in the shade Fuel. It's just a beautiful neutral color that I will get a lot of wear out of, and I've been wearing it a lot. Um, paired with the different lip liners, it can make different looks, so I've been really, really liking that one, so I'm bringing it with me. And then for lip gloss, I'm bringing my Dior Lip Maximizer. This is my favorite lip gloss. Um, this one is halfway done, and when it goes, I will rebuy it. Um, so it's coming with me and then the other lip product that I'm bringing is the Dior Attic Lip Tattoo um, in the color Natural Rosewood. I've talked about this before. It's just a beautiful lip stain. It works really, really well. It stays on my lips all day and it's just a nice, better, better than my natural lip color color and I just really, really like it. Um, so that's coming with me as well. And then the next um, items are setting sprays. My Scandinavia setting spray works really well. This is in travel size, so I'm bringing it. And then my Glam Glow Glow Setter is the only Glam Glow product that I like. Um, but I like the nozzle. It sprays really fine. So I'm bringing it. it smells good. Um, so I'm bringing it with me. I'll be set for setting spray. We'll be good. Um, and then last but not least is mascara. And I have on... I'm, of course, bringing my YSL The Shock Mascara. This is my Holy Grail favorite. This is in the color Burgundy. Love it. Wouldn't go without it. The last mascara that I'm bringing, I just got in the mail from Influencer. And if you don't know about Influencer, I will leave a link down to the video of me explaining it. Um, but basically, I got this for free from Influencer to do a review on. Um, basically, I don't have to do a YouTube review. I just do a review on my, on like Sephora. Um, but yeah, I've been trying this out. It's what I have on today. Um, it's not released yet, but it will be soon. Um, and it's relatively decently priced for a higher-end mascara. I mean, it's on par with like Tarte pricing and stuff, I think. Um, but this is the Monsieur Big from Lancome. It's really, really nice. It lengthens, it defines, it volumizes. This actually lengthens my lashes so much that it actually hits my glasses when I blink. I can feel my lashes hitting them. Um, which I haven't had happen before, so I thought that was kind of funny. But that is everything that I am bringing with me, um, makeup-wise and makeup brush-wise. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm sure I will see you in a month or so. Uh, when I get back to filming in the new place, you'll have a different um, scene behind me and everything. Um, I don't know exactly where I'm going to film in the new place yet, but hopefully we get there. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will catch you soon. Bye.